This tutorial video will walk you through how to do steps 1 through 3 of the present tense project in 1st John. I'll show you how to find all present tense verbs and verbals in 1st John, find the total number of present tense verbs in each of the following categories, indicative, imperative, subjunctive, optative, participle, and infinitive, and create a list of all the Greek verbs that occur in the present tense and note the verbs that occur most frequently using Logos Bible software. So I'll go to Logos. In Logos I have my layout set up so that my lexicons are on the right, my text is in the middle, and I have a search window open on the left. If you don't have a search window open, you can just go up, click and hold on the search bar and drag it down and it begins a new search. You want to choose Morph here. Uh, right here it will probably say all morph text in all passages if you click that and type 1 John uh, 1 John 1st John will come up choose that option and now we're limiting our search to 1st John you can use whatever English Bible is your preferred version or you can uh, do a search using the Greek Testament I'm going to use the SBL Greek New Testament here which is uh, almost identical to the critical text and uh, we're going to start our search here by hitting an at sign when you're looking when you're searching for forms of Greek words specifically specific parsings you type an at sign that brings up the Logos Greek and then it will give you the options available to you we're wanting to look at all present tense verbs so we choose verb we choose present tense and then because we don't care right now which of the follow any about the following categories I'm just going to click up in the query line hit the asterisk key and type enter and now I have found all instances of present tense verbs in 1st John in the SBL Greek New Testament it gives me 284 results in 101 verses so there's a total number of 284 uh, present tense verb forms in 1st John and that is the answer to uh, step number one step number two find the total number of present tense forms in each category now there's a couple ways to do this one way to do this is to simply come over here and uh, work through the mood options we can choose indicative and notice that it added an I but before the I for indicative it put a question mark meaning that the voice is not specified if I then hit the asterisk key and hit enter I now find that there are 197 instances of present indicative verbs if I come back over here I can choose imperatives uh, I have to I have to uncheck the let's see let's delete that come over here and choose imperative I didn't want imperative and indicative and that's what it was giving me hit the asterisk nine instances of present imperatives in eight different verses and so on and you could work your way down through the infinitive I guess you have to click off the item that you had on and you can turn on other items as you work through that the other alternative is to go to the tools menu type in concordance and open the concordance tool the concordance tool uh, will not begin uh, like mine did you're going to first have to choose the SBL Greek New Testament choose that we're looking at lemmas and now we're going to have to limit this to 1st John we come down here and type 1st John in the new passage reference and what you're seeing is that all of the lemmas in 1st John are being listed here by their counts and we can then come down on the left and choose that we're only interested in looking at verbs now here are all of the verbs along with their counts and we can then further specify that in terms of the tense we're only interested in looking at the present tense 
and now we're back to the same number of occurrences we got originally 284 and these are listed now according to their frequency if we'd like to get um, uh, we could then specify that we want the indicatives and we get that number we could specify that we want the subjunctives and we get this number you'll notice that some moods are not listed here and that's because for example there is no optative verb form in first john so that uh, that mood is not listed so uh, this is another way of getting at the numbers but you don't have to copy these out by hand there's a better way if you click here on the shish kebab menu and choose print or export it'll look like you don't get anything but over here on the right hand side you can either save the file as a spreadsheet or uh, send to a new document that's what I'm going to do and it just opened up Microsoft Excel for me and exported all of the information here for the present tense verb forms. Now let me go back and check and make sure I didn't have indicative checked. Uh, no, I did not have any mood checked, so that is all the present tense uh, verb forms not limited by mood. Now, for my purposes, uh, basically what I wanted you to see was the most frequent forms, and you can, uh, maybe let's go down to the total of four times, we'll capture that. You can highlight that, control C to copy, come over to Word in a new document, control V will paste it in as a table, but if you don't want it to come in as a table, you can choose the keep text only option, and that will get rid of the table formatting, and then you could um, uh, do a little editing and pull things together like this and so on so that you could copy and paste out uh, the specific if you don't use Word which is what I'm using here and use uh, Google Docs you could do the same thing in a Google Doc by uh, opening a new document and here when you right click choose paste without formatting and paste without formatting will drop in that without it being a table as well now one other thing and I'll let you go coming back to Logos and our search I said that you could do this in the Greek New Testament or in the New American Standard so let's change this back to where we're just looking at all the present tense verbs VP asterisk get 284 results now if I swap to the New American Standard, notice that I get 291 results, but the same number of verses. The reason is, certain Greek verbs are translated by more than one English word, and that throws off the results. If I choose, for example, the ESV, we're getting the same number there. I wonder about the King James. King James translates those same verbs with a few different English words. so. If we want to know the actual number of Greek words involved, we have to do the search in the Greek New Testament. And that should be what you need to get the data to do the analysis for this project.